What is up, addicts? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. We are beginning our wide receiver breakdown of the rookies prior to the NFL draft, beginning with none other than CD Lamb out of Oklahoma. But hey, before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get going. get started check out the link in the description we are offering a free tail kickoff special for our fan companion tool uh, you get access all the way up into the kickoff of the nfl season for absolutely free so make sure you check out that link all right cd lamb wide receiver out of oklahoma and in my opinion and a lot split opinion but uh a lot of analysts out there agree with me the clear number one wide receiver in this class might not end up being the number one overall drafted receiver because of that split. Seems like the split in the analyst community for fantasy and for the NFL draft is about the same between CD Lamb and Jerry Judy, but just comparing both guys from their measurables to their tape to the skills that they've exhibited over college, I really think that CD Lamb has a significant, I shouldn't say significant, at least a noticeable edge over Jerry Judy in his route running, his ability to make big plays, and his ability to generate yards after the catch. That's not to say that Jerry Judy isn't good. I just think that C.D. Lamb is the top of this entire class. Now looking at his measurables, he doesn't fit the build of what you would typically expect to see in your quote unquote X alpha receiver. Six foot two, pretty average, but under 200 pounds, you uh, typically associate a uh, you know receiver that would be your X of someone over 200 pounds. So neither, neither he nor Jerry Judy fit that build. But from a metric standpoint, still pretty impressive. 67th percentile, 40 yard dash, 63rd percentile speed score. Uh, not the most of a burner downfield, not like a Tyree Kill type, but he creates such separation on his routes that he runs that it really doesn't matter. And he still has the ability to break away deep down the field. This guy is a yard, uh, he's a yak monster um, especially this last year in uh, playing with uh, Jalen Hurts just created so many yards on all of his catches brought his yards per reception all the way up to 21.4 which is 96 percentile absolutely dominant year this last year and he pretty much got better every single year but he, he really started to shine in his second year playing with Kyler Murray he got to play with three different quarterbacks Played with Baker Mayfield in 2017, Kyler Murray in 2018, and then with Jalen Hurts in 2019. So showing his skills off playing with different types and different styles of quarterbacks. 77th percentile college dominator rating was a massive producer in Oklahoma. Um, and just looking at some of his stats, as we see his receiving yards went up every single year as did his touchdowns. Catch rate went down a little bit, but that could also have something to do with the drop from Kyler Murray to Jalen Hurts. Um, but again, even though he had three less receptions this last year, over 200 more yards, just or close to 200 more yards in total, just absolutely dominating in the yards after the cats. Guy is a terrific route runner. He's really improved his ability to uh, block as well as it, as his career has gone on. He only really has one charted fumble, I believe, in his entire collegiate career. Um, he is again incredibly good at creating separation and could very 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 likely be the next slot hybrid receiver we've seen guys uh, have a lot of success with that in the nfl guys like juju smith user michael thomas right now uh playing in a very similar role to how i think cd lamb will be deployed now what that means for fantasy obviously it's going to depend on where he goes I don't think that there's any chance that C.D. Lamb doesn't go in the first round just based off of uh, the way that this draft is shaping up. I wouldn't be surprised if he went. It's looking like from most mocks that he's either going to go to uh, Las Vegas Raiders or the New York Jets. Now, from a fantasy perspective, I wouldn't say that either of those are ideal. I would rather him go to the Jets mostly because I think Adam Gase will be gone uh, by the end of this year. And once that team can move on to hopefully a more competent coach, I think Sam Darnold definitely has the ability to continue to improve as a starter. He's shown us a lot. He's, he's still incredibly young. And I feel like there's more quarterback certainty in New York. And again, they really need a receiver that 
has the potential to be the next Juju, the next Michael Thomas. Um, Oakland, Dev I'm sorry, I still call him Oakland. Las Vegas could definitely use that as well. But again, with that quarterback uncertainty, unless they attack the quarterback position in the draft, which they still might in the first round, which would mean they wouldn't be getting CD Lamb. But um, I just, I like knowing that a wide receiver going to a team will at least be playing with a quarterback for a while, lets them develop some chemistry together. It doesn't uh, prevent that growth from happening. Not that, and again, with C.D. Lamb, maybe it doesn't even matter because we've already seen in college that he's played with three different quarterbacks. So what really important right now is that he goes to a team that gives him the opportunity to flourish and he goes to a team that's going to be willing to pass the ball. Um, I do think Again, neither of those teams are going to be great for redraft. So if we're talking about you know potential fantasy production in year 2020, assuming there is a season, probably not going to be the greatest year for a guy like C.D. Lamb, especially if Jerry Judy and C.D. Lamb both go to Oakland and to New York, then probably whoever goes to Oakland will have a better season this year. But I think overall, I'd rather have the uh, guy that goes to the Jets and has that ability to grow with Sam Darnold throughout his uh, young quarterback career give him a true uh, beast at the receiver position hasn't really had anyone to throw to other than guys like Jamison Crowder over the past and I guess Robbie Anderson was uh, a decent field stretcher but give him a guy that that uh, can create more after the cats give him a guy that gets open on short and intermediate routes as well and I think CeeDee Lamb would be a wonderful addition to that team um, same thing for the Raiders I think he would be fine either place there but I doubt he drops any further than those picks there uh, near the mid early mid of the first round so uh, but overall from a fantasy perspective I'm still looking more at the running backs uh, running backs have a much shorter career span most receivers typically take you know a couple years before they finally start to break out Juju Smith-Schuster in his first year wasn't really much of a fantasy asset, but by his second and third year was when he was finally you know, producing a lot. So you have to be a bit more patient with receivers. If you're stacked in, at running back and you wanna just keep loading up on receivers, I don't blame you for doing that. I just think that running backs see their peak of their value come a lot quicker and you can end up turning them into really good trade value much quicker than receivers typically because you don't typically see a rookie receiver post a thousand yard season in his first season so um with that being said i would take cd lamb around the middle of the first round in most drafts once the big four running backs are off the board and if any of those running backs go to an absolutely terrible situation it probably pushes cd lamb up to the fourth spot uh, which again we're gonna have to read just our rankings after the draft happens but right now i have cd lamb ranked as the fifth player behind taylor dobbins uh swift and acres so love cd lamb a lot really interested to see where he goes hit me up in the comment section if you have any other questions or thoughts about cd lamb jerry judy or any of the receivers in this class we'll see you guys in the next video